All right, um, so for this one it says, if the perimeter of a parallelogram, RSTU, shown below, is 42 units, how many units long is um, the line UT? Ooh. OK, yeah, all right, that makes sense, OK. So how long is the line UT? I thought I did the problem incorrect, but um, I didn't read the answer all the way, nor did I restate the question, hence why I make you guys do it to make sure that you are doing them correctly. So the thing we know is we know that the perimeter is equal to 42. So what we have to do is remember, well, what exactly um, is the perimeter? Remember, the perimeter is going to be the distance around um, a parallelogram. So going back to your geometry days, we need to remember a couple characteristics of parallelograms. First of all, parallelograms, you guys probably remember from their name, have opposite parallel sides. And opposite parallel sides not only just tell us that they're parallel, but they also help us in um, giving us some other characteristics. First of all, opposite sides of parallelograms are congruent. All right. We could also say that opposite angles are congruent as well. This is just a little FYI for you guys. And you could also say that um, corresponding angles are supplementary. Okay, So there's a couple different characteristics you guys are going to want to know uh, for parallelograms. These are just a couple in there. So if I know that opposite sides are congruent, if that's 8, that means I know this side is 8. That's why that information is helpful. We do not know the length of ut. So since we don't know the length of ut, we'll say that's x. And then if that's x, then we know this has to be x. So remember, perimeter is the distance around a figure. So I can simply write the equation 8 plus x plus 8 plus x equals 42. Now I combine my other terms. 8 plus 8 is 16 plus 2x equals 42. And now we're just simply going to solve. 2x equals 26 divided by 2 divided by 2 x equals 13. And since x is equal to the, to the length of ut, that is going to be our answer. Yes? Um, 